Oh my goodness gracious, guys. We are doing a loft visit and we are at the loft of Joe Namelka. Holy cow. Talk about a legend in the one loft arena. Dang. There he is. <laughs> All right, who do you have there? This is uh, the daughter of the best breeding hen I ever have, the Arden hen, and this is the Arden too. And she is definitely starting to show her age. She, uh, I only got two babies out of her this year. She only laid two eggs. Okay. And uh, they uh, they both hatched, thank heavens. She, she was mated to a uh, son of Bono, mm -hmm. Harry from uh, Florian Hendrix. Oh, nice. And so I'm really excited. It's nice to have something different. I have a lot of children off her with Florian. Yeah. And uh, so, um, yeah. so it's nice to have some diversity with her so I'll be able to, to work her in. But she's, she's been exceptional, unbelievable breeding. And as you know. I remember when I came here the first time and I handled every one of your pigeons. Uh -huh. She was my favorite. She's she my really favorite. Was. People often ask, you know, they want to talk about Florian, and granted, Florian's mm -hmm. been exceptional. But the most important pigeon in my loft, you know, currently in my loft, yeah. and I've had some special ones over the years, is the Arden II right here. That's awesome. So she's uh, she's had just an unbelievable impact with multiple multiple cocks. I mean, she's yeah. bred money winners in, a in the South Africa million dollar. She's bred money winners in basically every race. I, you know, the California Classic, of course. Yeah. And uh, she's bred a lot of money winners in, in, uh, in a lot of different races. Man. So she's special. She's definitely starting to show her age. She's, uh, she's getting old. All right, I'm going to have to hold that one. Okay, here you go. <laughs> Look at that. Holy cow, she's just trampling. Yeah, she's... Oh, my gosh. That's incredible. She is just gorgeous. Beautiful bronzing. I mean, color doesn't matter, but oh, I, I think it's, it's fun. Dark it's chicks. Fun. I have fun with the dark chicks. They I seem do too. I just like them. Yeah. So, people who watch my channel know about my bird, Cup of Joe. I was wondering. If that was about. <laughs> Cup of Joe is named after Joe Namelka and was bred by Joe Namelka, and is a grandson of the Arden II and Florian. Got it. Yep. Wow. One of the one of the birds. Yeah. Quavis. Quavis. Yep. What about Dabba Ranch? How's she? Or not Dabba. The, the the nestmate to Dabba Ranch. Ne still have her, and I love her. Oh. I've have I have her paired to, eight thirty six, which is um, a son out of sixteen nineteen. Got it. Sixteen nineteen. For everyone wants to know, that's a half sister to this hen right here. It's off the Arden hen, the the original Arden hen import mm -hmm. foundation of my loft. She's exceptional, the Arden hen. Yep. So. so, and I love all of their youngsters. Yeah. They're just outstanding. What a beautiful bird. <laughs> so, this is a 2012, and her band number is 2020. Yeah. <laughs> and her youngster this year, I did it a little bit on purpose. 2020, I, I use the mm -hmm. two series yeah. in the two years. Uh -huh. And so, her. Uh, Great balance. Her youngster's 2022, 2020. How cool is One that? One of our youngsters. <laughs> I'll let you handle them. Okay. All right, Joe, who do you have there? So this is a son of National Harry from Florian Hendricks, who was first national ace pigeon in Holland. Oh, man. I mean, he is exceptional. I don't know if people, he, is, he doesn't like to be held, so I'm a little careful. Probably shouldn't have him outside. If you look at his eye, he's got a very pearl eye, which is Florian. Oh, really, yeah. He really That's liked gorgeous. that. Um, his dam is a half sister to Bono Harry and a couple of other exceptional racing pigeons for for Florian. Um, he's I I got him mid season, so I did get four youngsters off of him. So I'm extremely excited about him. All, all four of them, assuming I enter the Africa Pro race, will be going mm, there. That's kinda, exciting. I'm just kind of watching what's happening with the Africa Pro. We'll see if they yeah. can, can have a have a good year. They had a tough first race. I think it's a great concept. Yeah. Uh, beautiful and, facilities it's incredible facilities yeah. and my wife and i were gonna go but we had a conflict pop up and so we've had to make it so we can't go but we're gonna definitely go one of these years yeah. um but it just looks incredible and uh wishing them the best yeah. but 
Yeah, my plan is to is to send those four youngsters off of him all to that race. That is fantastic, man. He's an just, exceptional pigeon. I just held this bird and it is outstanding. Yeah, he's very he's very buoyant. Yep. He is very he's apple body. He's yep. just got a, a just an incredible chest. Great, on him. great balance. Strong back, tight vents. I mean, yeah. really tight, strong vents. Yeah. Um, Florian. So when I got him. Yeah, wow. Florian yeah. Uh, told me this is the replacement for the cock that I call for. <laughs> and I actually, uh, I, I, I don't doubt him at all. Yeah. He's beautiful and, and like I said, just an exceptional bird. Do you have a name for this one yet? I don't. He's just the son of National Harry. We'll see what happens. You, know, I, I you can't go wrong with son of National Harry. Yeah, and I don't know if anyone's <laughs> followed that. That's that National Harry pigeon. I mean, he was absolutely incredible. Wow. What an amazing bird. There he is. Look at that. What a gorgeous bird. Man. Beautiful, beautiful bird. I love your perches. I mean, that's just simple they're, they're and real, efficient. Yeah. You're not going to ever have to scrape those. I don't have to scrape them. They're <laughs> easy to, when I want to get in and out, they're easy to move. Yep. Pretty, yeah. Pretty broke his tenth flight. This is uh, this is Florian. Oh my gosh! Look at so, that guy. He's from 2013, and he has. I mean, I've lost track hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars in winners for me and others. He's he's just special. People want to know what his eye looks like and. I'm not trying to make a stand on eye sign here, but I don't even know or care what color their eye is as long as those birds <laughs> win. Um, exactly. He is. Okay. Beautiful wing. I like that. Nice spacing in those yeah. flights. He is just tight vents. You've handled them before. I've handled them before. He is just outstanding. And he is. Look at that. He's he is so such, intelligent. Yeah, I, was I mean, about you can to say, just tell. He's just got he's, a, such an intelligent look on him. Yeah, he's he's just super rich eye. Yeah, wow. He's just he's attentive and Lolo, uh, my friend Lolo, okay, mm -hmm. Corral. He likes to talk about their intelligent look about him. Mm -hmm. And that's something about him. There's just something oh, about him. You walk in the loft. <laughs> he's the last one to fly out. Like if I was to open that window. Yep. He would be the last one to fly out, but as soon as I try to hold up a camera or try to catch him or anything, he's gone. <laughs> like he knows, he knows. He is what seriously. a cool bird. He is just incredible. Love, you want to handle him now? Yeah, I'd love to. What a legend. Oh, no. All right, guys, this is a holy cow handling pigeons. I mean, look at that balance and that pintail, and he is just amazingly buoyant. And packed with muscle. I mean, he's broad on the, on the shoulders and just super buoyant. I love that. Love this body type. Strong wing. You can feel the tremble. Dang. What an amazing bird. There you go. Outstanding. Holy cow, what an amazing bird. Florian, the legend. <laughs> All right. Okay, this is the Christabacher cock. He is, I'd consider my second best breeding cock. He is a, uh, he's a brother-sister mating, and the brother and sister are both off of a Christabacher cock called Staff. And I think the dam's name is Russie, R-U-S-S-I-E. Nice. So he's he's a brother sister mating and he's just been exceptional and I bought him because of the Krista Bacher hen that I have that's off of staff in Wendelina mm -hmm. and she's bred exceptional for me as well and I thought I'm gonna go back to that well mm -hmm. and uh, I mean he's just so buoyant. He is. He is. What do you think? I, I, I think he is super buoyant. I mean light as a feather and yet he's still packed. Yeah. You know. It's gorgeous, great balance in him.
he's just bred a high percentage of winners yeah. for me and then he's got he's got a yeah. really, his wing really beautiful striking wing with that 10th flight so long yeah wow fantastic so he's a full brother full sister mating and, and like i said he's just been exceptional and anthony mays mm -hmm. Um, has also flies some Christabacher pigeons down from staff. They've just done well too. So that's just that's an import from Belgium from Christabacher, and he's just been exceptional. His his hit rate right now, like I said, is, is yeah. very 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 high. That is cool. So 2018. Yep. So many more years. Hope I hope so. <laughs> awesome bird. This is super light. Yeah. I think this is your lightest, most buoyant one yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's this guy is super light. Dang. Look at that beautiful bird. So this is Peppy Sand Badger, who is a 2014 from Johan de Belzer import. He Great has balance. bred a lot of great birds as well. And James has some. Down. I do. And uh, so I've got a hen. You guys know Greek Iris. Greek Iris comes oh, down from this is? guy. Yep. Greek, Greek, okay. Greek Iris comes down from this guy. Peppy Sand Badger, and some of their youngsters have got the little feathery feet. <laughs> so that, this, is the, this is where I get my Look feather, at that. My feathered feet, youngsters. Isn't that cool? They have the slipper gene. Yep. Wow. He's an import from Johan de Belzer. He, I uh, really like that guy. Yeah, he's... Dang. Well, Wayne had that 11th National Ace Youngbird Pigeon off of him. Did oh, you know yeah. that? I did hear that. Yeah, yeah. So Wayne flew a son of him, made it... Uh, Made it to a daughter of Florian, not turbulence, mm. but another daughter of Florian mm -hmm. that was 11th National Ace Pigeon. Oh, dang. Wow. Youngbird. That's an outstanding and, uh, bird. Yeah, and then, like you said, John the Greek, I had that pigeon that was did really well in the blue bucket. And then yeah. John, and I think John had a youngster off of that bird fly in the money in the blue bucket. That's I think. the bird I have. That's the one you have, the <laughs> actual youngster. <laughs> oh, got it. <laughs> Now I can see why you're excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. This that's an outstanding pigeon right yeah, there. Yeah, he's fun. Nice. So, like I said, between Dude. him between him and the debacher cock, I'd say are the two best. The the only edge I'd give to the debacher cock right now is he seems to have you know, if I if you raise uh -huh. six youngsters, he may have three do better than and he may have two do better and Okay. I'm not one of these guys that thinks every youngster's a champion, will be champions, you yeah. know, guaranteed to do this. I that's fall. I think I I, I yeah. really do think it's a percentage game, and if you I raise six, you're going to be lucky to get one, and if you're really lucky, you'll get two that do well. Yep, I agree with that. Unless too. you have a unless you have a floor in, then you get a few more. But <laughs> <laughs> so. yeah, I think it's interesting when you think about the strike rate of some of these legendary breeders. You know, you hear about all their success, but they will. I mean, I think every bird is going to breed. I mean, it's just genetics. There's going to be some that aren't going to perform. Well, you're the but, uh, uh, <laughs> you're, you're the scientist I'm the, here. I'm the molecular biologist. I just say you're, you're this. I want to say rocket science, molecular biology <laughs> science. You know how genes work better than we all do, and this is a percentage, right? It is. Yeah. It just happens. But man, when you start to get the strike rate going, like Florian does, yeah, the genetics are there. Yeah, and there's. It's it's a unique, a unique genotype. I agree, and that's what I look for. Are those that have the percentages. It's, mm -hmm. it's to me, it's a percentages game. Yep. And so you look for those. And what's tough in in the sport right now? And again, I don't know how much you want me just to ramble. No ramble. But what's tough in the sport right now is is there's so much messaging and marketing and branding around certain pigeons. Yeah. And that's okay. I don't have a problem with that. But I don't think their strike rate is necessarily that much higher than the others. It's just a numbers game. Yep. You know, 50 or 60 pigeons may be down from a certain pigeon in a race, and people hear about the one or two that did well. Yeah, exactly. And so what, what you really should, in my opinion, what you really should be seeking are those smaller lofts who have a much higher, you know, success rate, percentage yep. rate. And that's, I think those are, those give the, 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 the new flyer and a few others a greater chance, in my opinion, to do well. I agree with that. So, and, uh, you know, that's one of the, amazing things 
One of the big things that you did for the pigeon community was the OLR stats. Oh, now you're making me feel bad because you know last year was my last <laughs> I know year. Last year was your last year. <laughs> I, just, I know, and I'm not pressuring you at all. But no, it's done. But that, but it comes, but that really was illuminating. Yeah. With not only each race, but also breeders. Yeah. You know, and it goes back to that strike rate. I mean, there are some lofts that that you've never heard of, and yet you look and you're like, wow, they yeah. outperform some of these big names by a long shot. Yeah. Well, and that's, you know, I guess I'll make two points on that. One is that was one of the purposes of it was to give transparency to those mm -hmm. breeders that simply choose to sit in the background and fly yep. and compete um, and, you know, to give them recognition. But the other thing was is to acknowledge those bigger name flyers who really do do well because some of exactly. them do do well. Some, some of them do very, yeah. very well. And so they yeah. should be acknowledged. Exactly. And, and so it, I, th I think it, it accomplished the goal that I had and, and uh, just due to time and, and uh, commitment and other things. I was like, okay, last year was the last year. I hope somebody picks it up and runs with it. And I've heard of a few people considering it, but I haven't seen anything yet. Yeah. When I started, I said, this is probably a five to seven year project. Yeah. And I did it five years. It was five years. And I think that was, you know, I would love to see it continued, but even if it doesn't get continued, I think that that in and of itself did enough to open people's eyes to, hey, we need to be checking things out Dig a little with the deeper. race, you know, if, before I enter it or a breeder that I may want to get birds from, you know? Yeah. Just, just ask the, the questions. That's the, yeah, well, the, questions. the thing exactly. that I was hoping is it makes people curious. One of the things in my business that we I talk to my employees about all the time is just be curious. Ask the why, right? Mm -hmm. Why this? Why that? Don't yeah. just accept what you see. Look at that wing. Yeah, vibrating. exactly. Crazy. <laughs> I, and, I, and again, for me, vibrating wings, you know, <laughs> white toenails, whatever people want to talk about. I, those things are interesting for me. But at the end yeah. of the day, I, I, I really believe you got to look at the results. I absolutely agree with that. You got to look at the results. And I, I know love, you do. I know you do. I love to hold a pigeon like this. He's fun. He's you know? fun. Let me give but you, I'm right. going to get you another one that I, I, I want your opinion on real quick. Okay. All right. Joe just handed me this bird. And I have no idea anything on the background of this bird but this is one heck of a bird holy cow vibrating super packed with muscle i mean and the tail is not i haven't done the balance test but i already know what's going to happen <laughs> single pin tail there i mean that is a gorgeous gorgeous strong bird a little hen you she can was, see that she's a she was a late hatch from last year late hatch from last year so that's her that's her original juvenile feather and she's finishing that molt and then continuing on with the year molt oh my gosh this would this would definitely win hands down in a confirmation show yeah no There's she's no question that's why that. i wanted to hand her i would this was a little <laughs> bit of a test for you james you passed so oh, far good. <laughs> if I mean, you would have said she's, if you would have said she's not a good pigeon i'd have said you need to change hobbies <laughs> <laughs> do you like baking <laughs> exactly gerbils hamsters yeah. i don't know so no, so a little tight vents and uh wow, just really well muscled so a little bit of history on this Dang. pigeon so this is an import from this year. She's again. She's a, it was a late hatch last year. I got some youngsters off her this year. She is off of Florian Hendricks, one of his hip pairs, Klein Gerard, okay. and Sister Friendship. I mean, she's wow. she's just amazing. Look and uh, yeah, so Florian, uh, I bought I, I bought a, a hen from Florian, and he also sent me uh, sent me this hen. Mm -hmm. And she is when I pulled her out of the box. I was like, holy cow. No if she doesn't have, again, you can, you'll never know. I'm one yep. of these you can't say for sure, but I would be very surprised if she doesn't have a positive impact on my loft. Yeah. She's just exceptional holy pigeon. Cow. And again, her, if you, anyone knows Florian Hendricks pigeons and you look at uh, Klein Gerard and Sister Friendship, they are a hip pair for him. I mean, Dang. ace pigeons all over. I am so excited to get her going. I did get two youngsters off of her this year. And I'm you did? I did. I'm extremely off of, who, who off of her. Who's the cock? Uh, who do you think? Florian? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, and those, are the, those are the last two youngsters that are actually in this loft Is over that right? here. The, that loft right there. They're on the floor. Those are the last two youngsters I raised this year. I just, I had to get something off of them. Well, I have a new favorite Namelka hen. She's, oh, I am so excited. Cow. So, I am so excited. Oh, my gosh. Just then again, that intelligence look. Yeah. Just looking around. So streamlined. Yeah, she's exceptional. Just. I'm very, very excited about her. 
So next year she'll be going on the Debacher Cock, Peppy Sand Badger, uh -huh. Junior Son of Junior Five Hundred, um, and uh, and Florian again. So I'll, I'll this wow. she'll be what I call my rotation hens. I rotate them mm -hmm. in my individual breeding pens back there. I rotate them her through those cocks, and so I'll find out real quick if she's worth anything by mating her to my four best cocks. Wow, how cool! So that is going to be exciting. She's exceptional. <laughs> Wow, congratulations. Ah, oh, thank you. Beautiful. That's my fave. <laughs> Look at these birds. Look how clean their feet are. Just in perfect health. I mean, yeah, they're they're molting, but I mean just outstanding health here. Every bird I've handled has had beautifully, immaculately clean feet. And chalk white waddles, just fantastic. See that? Perfectly clean feet. Not a speck of poop on there. That is outstanding. Clearly, loft management in the system here is spot on. You want me to quickly explain? Yeah, this do is? it, please. So this is a hen I bought from Florian Hendricks. Her sire is a son of Porsche 911. When Porsche 911 from Pippa, obviously everyone knows Porsche 911. If you don't, again, take up a new hobby. <laughs> um, Porsche, Porsche 911 mated to a daughter of, uh, a super racing daughter of Klein Gerard and a sister of friendship. So Florian Hendricks and Pippa um, had a joint breeding effort and this this is uh, uh this this tends down from that joint effort so a son of 911 mated to a sister when he was mated to a sister of uh, uh or a daughter of klein gerard and sister friendship and then the dam of this pigeon is a full sister to klein gerard so it's, this pigeon's in bed klein gerard which i think again anyone knows florian's pigeon knows klein gerard is one of his top breeders and she's a really nice hen as well i actually yes. got four youngsters off her mated to Florian. Florian. So, so Florian's been a busy boy. Florian's been a busy boy. I'll let you handle <laughs> a couple of their children. Actually. Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah, yeah so I'd like that. You'll, you'll be able to handle. Her. They're actually weaned, so I'll let you handle. Oh, that's a couple great. Of yeah, this as that bird is packed. Yeah, I mean, a lot of muscle. A lot of muscle just busting out of there. Dang. And again, one pintail. Kind of that. I don't know. It's got that beautiful. She's a little weaker in the back, if you notice that. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit weaker in the back. Beautiful bird. But still, yep. give her a shot. Let's see what she can produce. Yeah, outstanding. So I'm on the Porsche 911 bandwagon too, so like everybody <laughs> else. And again, that's another one that has, he's got, I can not only imagine how many youngsters he has, or jet progeny he has out there flying, but he's obviously been exceptional. So Porsche 911? Yeah. yeah. So we can hopefully yep. get something down from him. Yep. Oh, that's outstanding. Beautiful hand. Yeah. Tell me about 67, 61. Okay, so this is 67, 61. Her, I'll start with her nestmate. Greg Stevens bought her nestmate. She's a daughter of Lady Demily. Lady Demily is a hen that I got um, from, um, oh my heavens, Marco Klein Falkenberg from Holland. She was a just a top racer over there. She's down from uh, Anton Reinhardt. She's inbred Figo stuff. And she was just a super, super racer and a super breeder for me. She's definitely one of the top pins I've ever had. So this is her daughter, made it to uh, a son of Super Klein Lichte, and uh, nice. who was one of my, or you know, foundation yeah. birds. So, so uh, anyway, the the nestmate brother to this bred the first ace pigeon in Big Andy's race, and I can't remember what year it was, but he was first place. Andy was first overall in the averages for Greg Stevens down in St. George. If any of you know Greg, when he one big Andy's first, uh, again, first place and first overall average is exceptional pigeon. Well, I sold this hen to a friend, actually, I'm not, you know, this time I sold a friend and he got her and he's like, yeah, you know, not quite what I was looking for. So I said, I'll take her back. And I bred out of her and she has just bred exceptional. Second, you know, <laughs> a bird in the grain belt that, that won money that turned around the next year and bred a money winner. She bred uh, Dabba Ranch, who was fifth averages in the <laughs> Cuevas. And, uh, and Dabba Ranch then turned around and bred the uh, 
fifth place average bird in Cuevas the next year. So, I mean, she, and she just, every year I get one or two. She, she had a bird up in the evolution that won five grand. She's just, she's just a breeding machine. That's so awesome. it's one of those things, sometimes things don't work out and I usually like to give them a try and she's just been exceptional. And you can see, I don't know if, yeah. if you notice, her vents are really wide. They are wide, yeah. And, and I know a lot of people will be like, I, and I told the person when he bought her, I said, her vents aren't very tight. That's interesting, yeah. But she's, she's an exceptional breeder. That's the thing, people. You know, people who watch my channel know that I like certain things in pigeons, but at the end of the day, oh. do they deliver? What's their what's their individual record as either a racer or a breeder? That's what it comes down to. Yeah, I uh, can't argue with that. Yeah, see, and that's right. I just if they have the pedigree and and have a not a terrible confirmation. If they're terrible, mm -hmm. I don't like them. She's yeah. not terrible. Just the no, vents are not, a little wide. No. Then I like to give them a shot if they, yep. if they can, and see what they can do. And yep. and she's she's now one of my favorites. So this is um, the dam. Of the Quavis hen that you have in my loft, yeah. yeah. And the Quavis hen is the nest mate to Dabba Ranch. Yes, they both flew in the Quavis that year yep. when Dabba Ranch was, I think, twelfth on the final and fifth in the overall fifth average. average speed. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing. So, and then went on to breed. Then fifth the average next speed. year, bred the fifth <laughs> average speed bird. So cool. So this is yeah. Dabba Ranch. She was fifth eighth. She was twelfth, I believe, on the final. Fifth eighth overall pigeon champion in the in Quavis Classic. And again, the next year she turned around. Her sire is a son of Junior 500. He's a son of Junior 500 from yep. Johan de Belzer. Nice. And people want to know why I call her Dab Ranch. You see that little white right there? Yep. And you see the white right there. There's a there's a rap song that my kids like, <laughs> and it talks about a Dab Ranch. And if you learn what a Dab Ranch is, it's diamonds on like a watch. So they'll say it's like okay. a Dab Ranch. Or <laughs> it's diamonds on some some jewelry or something. And so my kids were like, hey, Dad, and she's got a little white. Name her Dabba Ranch. So there you go. So Joe has a knack of coming up with the best <laughs> names. Oh, you got Fat I've Bottom got, Girl. I've got Fat Bottom Girl in my loft, <laughs> named by Joe. <laughs> Too darn funny. Well, wow, what a spectacular bird this is. So have you bred out of bred more out of her then? I've she bred she's bred two money winners so far. That's, that's impressive. Um, so and she's uh, what is she? In, uh, uh, 19, 19, right? Yeah, so... Yeah, so we're gonna keep breeding out her and give her a shot. And okay. Get her more and more. I mean, she's yeah. not. She's. I'm not. She's not going anywhere. Yeah. And this year, I mated Beauty. her to a son of Florian and the Arden too, and I just let you handle that youngster who I really oh, yeah. like. I like that one too. So she'll have a couple going to Africa Pro. That's fantastic. But she's just. She's. Yeah. She's good. She's, yeah. She's proven. Yep. All right. So this. This is, the last. One of the last youngsters. This is probably the last. Probably the Arden last youngster we'll out of Arden Two me. and Florian. Uh, no, actually out of Arden Son of Bono. Arden Two and Son of Bono. Okay. From Florian Hendricks, a cock from Florian Hendricks off of the Bono Harry. Got it. Got so it. So Bono Harry was uh, flew Narbonne and mm -hmm. was one of the top yeah. pigeons in that race. Look at that bird. Planet. What a gorgeous bird. I love this hen. She is just perfect in the hand. Beautiful tail. Look at that. I love it when you see that spoon shape. Yeah. You know, where the, the tail's so tight that it makes almost that spoon shape yep. at the end. It's narrow it and it expands yep. a little bit. Yep. Uh, it's just, what a beautiful, beautiful bird. Dang. And look at this. 2021 is the band number, and the year is 2022. And the nest mate is. 2022 2022 <laughs> it's 2020 2020 oh 2020 so yeah, she was right. born in 2022 and that's it's right. 2020 that's right which is the which is the arden tuesday band right that's right and i've that's already right. i've already named that one. Oh yeah perfect What's vision perfect vision i like that i like that dang wow well we're gonna keep our eyes on this one yeah she's not going anywhere what a, um, so what i'm really excited beauty. about her dang that's a holy cow bird. She's a holy she's cow. Look at that. Just gorgeous feather quality on that. Unbelievable. Wow, nice breeding on that one. Wow, I'm excited. <laughs> All right. So who's this? 
So this is Turbulence. This is a daughter of <laughs> Florian and the Arden II. Um, she is Florian's second best breeding daughter that I have. Splendiferous is the best and Splendiferous is an inbred daughter. But let me tell you what Turbulence did, her race record. She flew in the Central Jersey Combine. She was 13th out of 465 in the QCM Futurity. She was 9th out of 1,370 in the 300 mile race. She was 6th out of 1,654 in the 350. And uh, her two <laughs> full siblings that year won 24,000 in the AIC race. So three hens, all off Florian Yard in two in one year. You know, 24,000 in the American International Classic and then Turbulent. Do you see what Turbulence did? Yeah. They're molting, Dang. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. But that, this is when I knew I had something with Florian and the Arden too. <laughs> that was the first year I made them together, and I'm like, holy cow. That's unbelievable. And what an exciting year. <laughs> to produce. Yeah, that was exceptional. So this is also the grandmother of Greek Iris. Yes. Pretty cool. So it's the grandmother of Greek Iris. She's the grandmother of my Royal Cup first drop bird last year that won 17,000. She's bred really well. I mean, she's she's keeps breeding winners. Um, her son won money in the blue bucket, and no. John Georgopoulos ended up with him. Mm -hmm. And then uh, his daughter, you say, won money. Then yep. it's a daughter. The Greek iris is a hen, obviously, right? Yep. And yep. then uh, James ended up purchasing that hen from from John the Greek. Yeah, with Abdiel. Awesome bird. Dang. And you just got to love those smoky blue bars. Blue bars, I love them. I love it when they throw in a little bit of white in there, too. <laughs> <laughs> that's what John Georgopoulos, that's what Greek has. I know, that's his, that's it's his, his bread, bread and butter, butter exactly. man. Those, those smoky blue with the white flights. <laughs> yep. So. Sweet. Okay. Yep. All right, we got Splendiferous. Holy cow. What a hen. She feels awesome. All right, tell us a little bit about Splendiferous, Joe. So she is a daughter of Florian. When Florian was mated to his other daughter, to his daughter off of Florian in the yard in 2079. 5079 was the one of the hens that won that 24,000 in the IC. She was third in the A wraith averages and sixth in the B wraith averages behind some Greek birds. Um, <laughs> and she, so this hen, so this is the only youngster I got off Florian in 5079. I sent her to the Pacific Northwest for Mark Morton to fly. She was 17th. Uh, at 143 miles first drop she was second first drop 247 miles she was fifth first drop 313 miles and 28 from 348 49 miles <laughs> more importantly she's turned around and bred uh the 11th national ace young bird in 2018 i do have the year now wow um and uh and she's bred a money winner in south africa 77114 uh, funny story, this past year, um, I had a bird that was flying pretty good in the California Classic and off of her and the debacher cock. And, uh, and John Georgopoulos called me and said, I want to buy this bird. And I'm like, She's, the bird's going to fly the second wind. And he said, okay, but I'm still going to buy the bird. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, all right, uh, if it gets lost, then, you know, whatever, I'll, uh, I'll give you your money back. And the bird ended up being first drop on the second <laughs> on the second wind. And John actually, who was funny, felt bad. He's like, "I feel bad taking advantage of you," but I said, "You bought the bird, so that is outstanding." Yeah. So John knew what he was doing. I don't know how yes, John he does did. it. He's got the golden <laughs> he's, touch. He's got a gift. Splendiferous. Yep. What a legend. <laughs>